Welcome to Cloud Climber. Um, I yeah, it it's free. It was free on the Epic. It was free on Steam, and I didn't want to upload today, so we're playing this game. Um, I thought it was new, but it might not be. In which case, the title is a lie. Let me look real quick. <laughs> oh well, I'll lie anyway. But Cloud Climber. Yeah, yeah, so it literally came out six days ago. So, exciting. And if it came out earlier and it just didn't come out on Steam, then I feel lied to. Anyway, we're gonna play this small little game. It's gonna be, it's gonna be what it is today. We're just gonna play this and chill. And um, yeah, I don't know what this is, so we'll see. I don't think it's supposed to be a horror game. I think it's just supposed to be like a walking simulator. Another day has arrived. Yay! I best get my water before going to work. I agree. I am going... The fact that there's no audio settings? Big no. I guess I can turn the game... I can turn the game down in my headphones and I can turn it down in the stream. That way it's not overly loud. Just because, yeah. Um... Hopefully, hopefully that's a little better. I may need to get the neighboring tower in the future, but I know the other builders keep the entrance to the bridge locked. I saw a key on the table at the top of our tower a few weeks ago before I went to get more building supplies. I haven't been up there in a few days, so I'll need to check it out. Of, need to check if it unlocks the bridge door. If the other towers ever become vacant, I might need to get across, so I'll have to keep this in mind. Cool. Sweet. This is going to be like a very eerie, creepy game, isn't it? Okay. The, uh, the first, the first predicament of the game arrives. How do I get, oh. Nice. Construction on the last tower stopped weeks ago. Okay. I can only assume that the builders have met their fate by now. Well, that's not good. I believe it's safe enough for me to go and continue building higher yet from where they left off. I'll need to travel across the other two towers to get there, but I'm sure I can find a way. Huh. Okay. So... My dude just out here building building a tower for life and and everyone else is is dead. For months we've been building faster than ever, yet it seems as if every time we complete a new level the clouds raise higher and higher. I could have sworn we were close to them decades decades ago, but we're still not done yet. I can only hope that we're getting close. You've been building towers for decades trying to get above clouds? I... I respect the... the trying. I respect the trying. But that is... that is... big too much. Lots of building supplies though, so people must still be alive down on... There's other towers? Raw.
Also, this game is like pretty pretty. I can't believe today is the 100th anniversary of our tower. I know others have been building much longer, and now I wish our grandparents had taken this whole thing more seriously. 100 years ago, they decided things were getting dangerous. But why didn't they see the problem 200 years ago, or even longer? I'm still glad they started building. But I just wish we had seen this coming. So it's the apocalypse. It's the apocalypse. It's been quite some time since I was on the second tower. I haven't crossed this bridge since the builders became greedy and took the supplies that were meant to come to our tower. Just like all the other towers, its inhabitants quickly grew desperate and aggressive. Now it stands empty. So everybody is killing each other? My dude. <clears throat> I guess I knew this day would come, but I didn't expect it to come this soon. Yesterday we started extreme rationing of our water. A few days back we stopped getting supplies from the ground crew on our lift. We can only assume that they have stolen the supplies for themselves, ran out of water and food sources, or simply died. If we don't get into the clouds soon, we might need to see if we can get some from one of the neighboring towers. And instead, he stole my freaking water! But luckily for me, I have my own water. So the goal is to get over there. To do that, we have to go there, I guess. Ooh, a chest. Wouldn't it be ironic if it rained now, after decades of building? Now would be the perfect time since we've just started rationing our supplies more, but I have a good feeling about things. I know I've never seen rain myself, but Grandmother always told me how wonderful it felt. It would be so surreal to be on the ground and see, what, see water for miles instead of desert and wasteland. I'm sure it'll rain someday. We just need to survive until then. So it's extreme drought, 2021. installed a rope cart on this level to get to the third tower. I should be able to use it to get across. I tried to be reasonable. I tried to talk with them. But those greedy little scumbags on Tower 1 don't want to share their supplies with us. I'm not going to die miles above the ground, drying up like a raisin while other people watch. I'm going over there tonight to take everything I need so I can last long enough to watch everyone else die. So that seems, that honestly seems like a more depressing way to die, to be honest, just watching everyone else, you know, go on and, and then just be left alone. Like, like, for example, this guy right here, like he's, he's all alone. Are they all the same? They are. Am I the guy, am I Kyle? Am I the one who's stolen supplies from others? Am I the reason that the world is dead? Am I the apocalypse? Now, I must say this is a nice change of place, Ch change of play, I, change of pace. I haven't played a solo game that's not like a horror game in so I could long. I almost call this place beautiful if these dust storms weren't so suffocating. Well, then don't breathe, dude. Also, getting above the clouds, how does that help with anything? I hope I find what I'm looking for at the fourth tower. I hope so too, dude. You couldn't... Okay, well this is definitely a different person. I couldn't be more frustrated right now. We're running out of water, running out of building supplies, and Carl just won't get along with me. At least five times a day he pretends he's going to push me off the tower. I swear, if I do fall someday, it'll be his fault. <sighs> Kyle out here pushing people, dude. Yesterday, Hadong fell off the tower. I don't know how it happened, but it was a shame, especially since he had the key to most of our water chests. We'll need to break the locked ones open soon, since we've almost emptied out the other chests. Wow. 
Yeah, I don't feel like falling. These must be pretty sturdy towers to survive a couple hundred years and whatever crap's going on on the surface. Open. Note. I just can't get over it. Hadan gives the absolute best reactions when I mess with him. For the past week, I've been pretending to get mad and shove my arms at him, as if to push him off the tower. I don't think this will ever get old, and I can tell Hadang loves it. Well, that was some... Um, that, that... someone misread the situation, clearly. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many towers. How come everyone's building towers in the same way? Like, do we just all have like a... Just like, this is how we're gonna build a tower, guys. Do you think that these chests possibly have water in it then, if there's lots of locked chests? Looks like I'll need to fix this bridge. Yeah, you will. I'm not. I, I know I'm not jumping. This is sketch. It's hard to believe that I'm the last one here. Yeah, you seem to be totally okay I with it, too. I never thought it would end like this. Makes you wonder what the whole point was in the first place. No idea, buddy. But you, you're, handling, you're handling being the last person on Earth very well. Out of everyone on this Earth, our families were the only ones who took the water crisis seriously. We were the ones who started building. We were mocked and told we were insane. We were the ones who everyone looked to when the lakes and rivers dried up. Our blueprints were the ones that were stolen as people became desperate. Out of everyone on this earth, we are the ones who deserve to survive. The clouds are brimming with liquid life, but are still so evasive. I've been building for a long time, but we're not done yet. We have further, we have farther to go. We will climb the clouds. Okay, so I'm guessing the plan is the clouds dried up or whatever. So the key is to climb to get up to the clouds. That way you can get water out of clouds because that's where water comes from. Makes sense. This evening, Kevin made a really cheesy speech about how we alone will prevail and how we are the only descendants of the Great Ones who deserve life. It was honestly the cringiest speech I've ever heard and that's really saying a lot considering the other stuff he's been saying lately. He also keeps referring to himself in the third person and only responds to us if we call him Son of Zilkar. This guy has an identity crisis, and you need to fix that, because the next thing you know, you have a bunch of little people running around, just, you know, getting mad and throwing rocks, and everyone thinks that you're the Fuhrer, and okay. <laughs> Ooh, a hammer. Ooh, a saw. And planks. I take it we're gonna build? Is that, is that the... Is that what's... Bro, okay. All right, I guess we're building. Should be fun. guy's like Wally like he's like the he's the last one left and he's still doing his his his, his purpose really is beautiful, even with the dust storms. It's peaceful in a way. That's it? That's I've all the building we're going to do? i that tower my whole life and never once stopped to appreciate what we spent our lives building. We only looked up to the clouds hoping we'd someday reach them so we could prolong our lives. But now that everyone's gone, 
I know any attempt I might make at accomplishing that would be futile. Rather than spending the rest of my life building a tower, maybe it's time I took a break. I agree. No point. It's been a long time, but I think I'm finally done. Yeah. Don't fall. Okay. Go ahead, take your sit. Don't just jump, bro. What? It's raining. Wow. Oh, that was it. <laughs> that was the whole game. <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't think it was going to be that long, but that was nice. Cool. Well, lots to un lots to explore there. Lots to unpack. Good, good little game. T t tons of fun. Um, I be best game of the year so far for me, for sure. Uh, Last of Us 2, uh, you're nothing compared to this game. It was a fantastic game. Loved it. Every single second was perfect. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I am Alice McClary. This was Cloud Climber. Uh, if you want to experience it yourself, it is free on Steam. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave this. I'm just going to leave this up. I'm not going to even edit it. I'm, I'm going to keep this up. This is going to be a video on my channel. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you uh, Friday with Amnesia. And if I get another gaming video out it'll be beyond the wire so uh tons to look forward to uh go check out the go check out the skit because the skit's pretty funny um it's called bro it's called broke back backyard and not like broke back like broke back mountain like broke back backyard because i'm broke i hurt my back and i and it, and it was filmed in my backyard so uh go check that out and 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 bye and and this 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 honestly just made me smile so it was a good game I, i'm i'm happy all right bye bye